Hi, welcome to our channel Shah Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a stopwatch in Excel with the help of VVA. So first, let's see a very short demo. After that, we will learn how to do this. So when you want to start this timer, click on start. You can see the timer is increasing by one second. And when you wish to pause or stop the timer, you can click this button stop. So click stop. You can see it stop at 21 second. And now if you again want to resume this timer, then click on start. Then it starts after 21, that is 22, 23, 24 in this way. And again, if you want to stop, stop it. Or if you want to reset this to zero, then click on reset. So in this way, this stopwatch works. So now we will learn how to do this. But before that, I request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell button so that you can get regular updates and notifications from our channel when we upload new Excel automation videos and different tips and tricks that makes your life easier and save a lot of time. So let's begin this tutorial. First, create a sheet and select this image and paste it here. Then put it here and Press Ctrl Shift and hold this picture and copy this here. Okay. Now we will select this cell and merge it. Here we will show up the timer. So type here 00 colon 00 colon 00. And you can see here it's showing zero one time for the hour. So right click format cell, go to number and custom. Here type HH colon MM colon SS. Okay, now it's fine. Now we will format this cell, go to home, select center and middle and select a font of your choice and increase the font size okay now we will give a background color you can select this one and give a border more border select a border color this one and take it as a thick border and give outline okay so we made a border for this now we will create three buttons for start, stop and restart. So go to insert, illustration, shapes and select this image and draw a rectangle. Okay. Now format this, go to format and here no outline and shape effect, go to preset and select this one. And type here start. So right click here and edit text. And type here start. And then select this, go to home, center middle, select the font of your choice and increase the font size to 12. Okay. Now drag this first press Control shift and then drag this image to the right Okay, then again another time Yes, we got three buttons now select all these three and go to format align align top and Distribute horizontal now change the text here type stop and here type reset okay now 
we will create the VB code. So press Alter F11 and go to insert and insert a module. Now here we will paste some code for three macros. For number one is start macro, then stop macro, then reset macro. So paste the code here. Okay. First you have to give a general declaration that is public interval as date. And after that it is a code for the start button. So sub start timer if i7 dot value equal to blank then exit sub. So let's go to Excel. So our this cell is G8. So if G8 is blank, then it will exit the sub. That means it will exit the macro. So go here, type here G8. That means if G8 value is equal to blank, then it will exit the sub. Next, after that, if G8 is not blank, then what will happen? Then it will add 1 to G8. So range G8 dot value equal to range G8 plus time value 0 hour, 0 minute and 1 second. That means it will add 1 second to the G8 value. And after that, we set a value for interval. Interval equal to now plus 1 second. And after that, we have to add one second after each one second. So for that, you have to type this one application dot on time interval comma start timer. That means it will add one second after each interval of one second. It will go to the start timer and repeat this line then again it will come to this line and again it will repeat. So this way it will go on repeating until you stop the timer. And after that stop timer. Here is sub stop timer. This is the code for error. So on error resume next. And here then call stop timer. So here you can get this line that is application dot on time earliest time equal to interval that means in general we have declared interval as date that means with date we also get the time so so earliest time equal to interval time and procedure equal to start timer that means if i click on start timer then the value of the interval will add one then schedule equal to false. So schedule equal to false means it will stop adding one second and reset timer. What does this reset timer do? This is very simple. First it will call the stop timer. That means it will stop the timer. After that the value of G8 will be 0, 0, 0. So these are the three codes you have to add within a module and after that go to Excel, right click, assign macro, start timer, ok, right click, assign macro, stop timer, ok, then right click here, assign macro and then reset timer, ok. Now click on start, you can see the timer started. And if you click on stop, the timer stop. And if you click against from start, then it will start from 6 to 7. So this is what here it tells when you click the start timer. That means this start timer will start again from the interval plus time value 1 second. So click on start. You can see it started. Now click on reset, it got 0. So in this way, you have to create this stopwatch. So select this, merge, 
टाइप हियर स्टॉप वॉच विथ सीवीए सिलेक्ट दिस वन होम सेंटर मिडिल सिलेक्ट अ फॉन्ट इंक्रीज फोन साइज एंड गिव इट अ कॉलर ओके एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव यू अ बॉर्डर सो गो टू मोर बॉर्डर सिलेक्ट दिस कॉलर आउटलाइन सिलेक्ट दिस वन एंड क्लिक आउटलाइन ओके सो इन दिस वे you can create a stopwatch in excel with the help of vva so i hope you have understood this tutorial and if you have any queries and question write me in the comment section i will surely reply you if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial